We have made it back to one of our favorite countries, Spain. Mm -hmm. Although we're trying somewhere new. What? There's a gecko! Okay, we're back after Mia was briefly distracted by some lizards. <laughs> we're in Tenerife, Spain. We just flew in here from London. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so Tenerife is part of Spain, but it's actually on the west coast of Africa. So it's right beside Western Sahara, which is super cool. So quite a bit um, further down south. It was about a four and a half hour plane ride yeah. from London. So we've got quite a bit planned. We're starting in the south of Tenerife. Mm -hmm. We are currently at one of the natural pools in Los Gigantes. It has some incredible views. It's great for swimming. We found parking super easily. There is a parking lot right down here. And it's free. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go check that out. It looks pretty neat. Maybe we'll get some content of the lizards to keep Mia happy. <laughs> and then we are headed out to another beach in Los Gigantes. And then we're gonna be heading up to Masca Valley after this, which is gonna be apparently quite the drive. Um, some people get really freaked out on it. Luckily, I love driving and I think I should enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah. So let's go get this day going. <laughs> Next stop on our day is to the beach, which I love. And we're going to Playa de los Guijos or Playa los Gigantes. They're called the same thing. Yep, same location. I'm not sure, I think there's parking usually down one of the roads, but it's under construction. So we had to come all the way down to the marina to park, which is paid parking. Mm -hmm. However, maybe the other parking doesn't exist. I was following maps, so. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're parked at the marina. marina. Oh my gosh. And there's tons of restaurants and shops here. Yeah, it's one of the many black sand beaches on the island. Uh, the black sand comes from eroded volcanic material, mm -hmm. which obviously there's an active volcano on the island, so that's where it comes from. It's also found in some other areas such as Hawaii, Greece. Yep. So it's What did you cool. say? There's only like 20 yeah, black sand Yeah, around 20 of them in, in the, the world. world. So it's pretty cool that they have a few on this island alone. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go check that out. Um, we did see some paddleboard rentals, so we're gonna see if we can get one of those yeah. and get a little bit of a better view. Depending on how much they are. Yeah. We'll see. So we just finished up at the beach. We had a great time. It's a beautiful location. It's incredible to get to swim like that close to Los Gigantes. It's massive. The Just the cliffs along the beach are so cool to see. Mm -hmm. Water was pretty nice too. Yep. Refreshing, but it wasn't freezing at all. Apparently, Tenerife has the warmest beaches in all of Spain, yeah. right? The warmest water. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, you can also rent kayaks and paddle boards there. So it was like pretty reasonable as well. It was like uh, 10 euros for one person for an hour, 15 for two people for an hour. Or if you want to rent the kayak or paddle board for the whole day, it was 35 euros. So we yeah. thought, yeah, pretty reasonable. Yeah. We didn't get time to do that because we wanted to make it up to Masca. Mm -hmm. We're at the bottom right now, just about to start on the road, which... I guess we'll see how crazy it is. We did do Pikes Peak last year, which was an incredible drive. So we'll see how this stacks up against it. Yep. But I think it might be a little hectic. We'll start the drive and uh, we'll see you guys up at the top.
So we made it up to the top of Masca. The road was insane. Yes. <laughs> it was far crazier than Pike's Peak. Like, honestly, not even close. Mm -hmm. It was not, a little hectic. Yeah, not gonna lie, I was absolutely a little bit stressed for part of it, especially when we were passing this massive tour bus, which I'm so confused why they are even allowed to drive up it. But you know what? We made it. Yep, we it's made it. It's fine. And it is absolutely breathtaking up here. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I would highly suggest you try and plan around the tours, which a lot of them are up here between 11 and 3. It's about 5 o'clock now and we had no problem finding parking, which is great. It can get busy and there's very, very minimal parking up here. Yeah, there's not a ton of parking. Um, also, if you are at all a nervous driver, I wouldn't recommend driving yeah, it's yourself hectic. up. It's very hectic and especially the, a lot of the rental cars being manual. They do have some automatics, but the manual's nice because of the steepness of the hills sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it was worth every second of the drive. It was so much fun and it's just, I would recommend this to anybody. It's so cool. Up yeah, here. So, the views are just insane. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're going to go try and find a restaurant up here, uh, get some dinner, mm -hmm. get some killer views with our food. And we'll see how the food is up top. Yeah. So we had no luck getting any food up at Nazca. Everything was closed, mm -hmm. Which is fine. I think they just want everybody out of there by a certain time. So it's there's no like tourists lingering. Yeah, we got there uh, a little after five. So just a heads up, if you do get there that late, make sure you either stop and eat before or make sure you're not too hungry. Um, we came back to Santiago del Tere just to get some dinner. Mm -hmm. And we found this great little spot. It is called Restaurante del Tere. And we had a couple tapas, which if you don't know your Spanish well, Tapas are little small plates of appetizers. Yeah. So we had fried cheese. Croquettes. We had croquettes, which were amazing. And we had toast with serrano, which is kind of like a prosciutto. Mm -hmm. And they were all so good. Yeah. So that is the end of our day, day one. We are off to Siam Park tomorrow, which is rated the number one water park in the world multiple years in a row. So we're pretty excited about that. Yep. We'll see if it lives up to the hype. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Make sure if you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe, comment. See you later. Bye.